And now, a message from Dr. Anthony Fauci. It's your boy, Fauci, the patron saint of Purell. As you probably heard, we got some very good news this week, and I'm not just talking about J-Lo and Ben Affleck. And ben Affleck. The uh, CDC announced that people who are vaccinated no longer need to wear masks, outdoors or indoors. Pretty great, right? But a lot of people had questions, such as, what does that mean? What the hell are you talking about? Is this a trap? So, to clear things up, I found a few doctors at the CDC who minored in theater, and I asked them to reenact various scenarios in order to demonstrate correct mask behavior. And remember, they only had 24 hours to put this little show together, so uh, please welcome the CDC players, and their first scene, Man Walks Into a Bar. <laughs> Welcome to a bar. Thank you. Do I still have to wear a mask indoors? You actually do not. Great. Well, as long as you're vaccinated. No, I'm not. Oh, then that's bad. Well, I'm entering a bar at 11 a.m. Did you really think I was vaxxed? Because that's on you. You're right. I deserve COVID. And scene. <laughs> That's the right takeaway. The real point is we have to trust each other, so please be honest and respectful. Let's see how that plays out in our next scene, The Friendly Skies. Stewardess, may I have another scotch on the rocks? I'm a businessman, and I need it to relax from business. You can have a scotch, but when you're not drinking it, you need to keep your mask on. Good to know. By the way, I've been stuck inside for over a year. Want to bang? You know I do, King. Then hop on. Let's go for a real ride. Stop there. Thank you. The lesson should have been you need masks on planes, not everybody horny now. All right. A lot of folks are also wondering about uh, larger groups or gatherings, so let's see an example of that. I'm concerned. This is a pretty large gathering. Should we be wearing masks? We don't have to, because we're outside. The Capitol building. Now, come on, let's get them. Right behind you. OK. That was a very specific example, but accurate in terms of masks. Uh, now, what about retail businesses? How do you protect frontline workers who may or may not be vaccinated? Let's take a look. Hi there. Can I come into your store? Yes, but I'm still asking customers to wear masks respectfully. But I don't need a mask. I'm gay. And <laughs> I'm an ally. Come on in. The first hot dog is on me. <laughs> no. No, that's not how that works. Being an ally is great, but it's got nothing to do with mask safety. Also, did she run a hot dog store? That left me with more questions than answers. Okay, next we have two young folks who started dating during the pandemic. This is exciting. We're dining outside, so we can definitely take our masks off. Oh, no. I don't like the bottom of your face. <laughs> It looks like you grew mold under your mask. So, mask back on? No, it's too late. I already saw it. Now it's all I can think about. Then what if you put your mask over your eyes? Ah, uh, that's nice. You look like a blue man. And freeze. We cut to an actual blue man's apartment. His roommate's like, uh, can you stop it with the drumming? I'm trying to get some sleep. <laughs> that takes improv classes, because that's what everyone wants a doctor to do, improvise. All right, uh, next we have a delicate situation, riding New York City transit. Wow, I'm so excited to be back on the subway. Me too, but you should know masks are still required on buses, ferries, and subways. Oh, cool, but my question is, where should I masturbate? Because buses, ferries, and subways all sound like great options. <laughs> you shouldn't do that anywhere, sir. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put a mask on it first. He, he missed a golden opportunity to say thanks for the tip. <laughs> Another big question mark is schools. Maybe this will help. 
Hi, I'm here to pick up a student. Do I need to put on a mask? No. Fully vaccinated parents do not need a mask. But do I need to be a parent? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Stop it. Thank you, thank you. And this next one, I'm told, is more of a riddle. <clears throat> Hi, we're four friends from three different households. We're all half-vaxxed and traveling by train from Florida to the UK. <laughs> one of us is old and severely at risk. And one of us is a baby. <laughs> so how many of us should wear masks and in which order? And go! <laughs> No idea what that's supposed to demonstrate. And now it's time for the big finale, entitled Society is Good Again, A Vision for the Future. Wow, everything is fine now. Everybody got the vaccine, so now we never need masks again. I'm using my old mask as a parachute for my hamster. I'm using two of mine as a bikini. I'm using one of mine as a bikini. Yes, when we come together as a society, we can solve anything. Woo! Now, let's talk about Israel. Okay, okay. <laughs> that seems like a good place to end. Uh, so, in summary, please, everyone, get the vaccine and enjoy life with no masks. Except this audience, you guys, you gotta keep them on. And live from New York!